Hey, good optometry morning. Let's talk about the 18 most frequently asked questions about eye drops after cataract surgery. All right, number, question number one, do I really have to use these eye drops if my eye is feeling fine? And the answer is absolutely yes. The eye drops of the steroid, antibiotic, and NSAID eye drops are all designed to allow you to have a uncomplicated and a quick recovery from your cataract surgery. And if you stop using these drops as prescribed by your doctor, even if your eye is feeling fine, it might compromise the results of your surgery. Question number two, if the drops are stinging when I put them in, should I stop using them? Does that mean that there's a problem with the eye drop? And the answer is no. A lot of the eye drops that you're prescribed after the cataract surgery, they're gonna sting when you put them in. And the reason why is because the active ingredients and the preservative in these drops can cause some a little bit of irritation. That's definitely not a sign that those eye drops are a problem and I would recommend you, and you should still be using those drops even if they sting a little bit. Now, there are two ways that you can reduce the stinging that those drops will have. One is you can use a lubricating drop frequently before and after the cataract surgery, but you wanna wait at least five minutes in between putting the drops in. Or another way is if you refrigerate or keep your prescription eye drops cold, sometimes that cooling effect can reduce the amount of a stinging that they might have. Number three, do my eye drops need to be spaced out by an exact number of hours? So oftentimes your surgeon will say, use your drops three or four times a day. It doesn't mean that you have to use them exactly by the hour. If they say three times a day, what that means, put it in the morning, put it in around lunch, put it in sometime in the evening. Four times a day, morning, lunch, supper, and before you go to bed. You don't have to watch the clock exactly. Number four, if I am taking glaucoma eye drops, should I stop those drops before the surgery and after the surgery? And the answer is generally no. If you're on drops to treat your glaucoma, most of the time we're gonna have you keep using those drops just as you normally would. You just add all the cataract drops to it, but you definitely wanna ask your surgeon specifically about that for you. Question number five, if I am not sure that I got the drop into my eye, should I put another one in just to be safe? And generally speaking, if you're not sure you got the drop in, put another one in. There's no harm of having extra of any particular drop. And one way that you can help know when you get a drop in is by keeping the drops in the refrigerator. And if the drops are cold, you might feel them a little bit more so you can get a sense that that drop went in or not. Number six, these eye drops are very expensive. Do I have to use them because I'm worried about the cost of them? The answer is definitely you should be using these eye drops. If you find that the cost of a particular drop is too much for you, then definitely talk to your surgeon, ask them if there's another cheaper, less expensive drop that they could use instead of the one that they prescribed you. Question number seven, if I forget an eye drop, what should I do? So if you forget to put an eye drop in, what you wanna do is just when you remember, put that drop in and then just get back on your normal course. So let's say it's morning, you forgot to put your drops or one of your drops in and you remember midway through the morning. Just go ahead and put a drop in when you remember. Then at lunch, if you're supposed to put a drop in, put one in at lunch and then put one in at supper. You don't have to start spacing them out at some weird, weird frequency. Just remember, just put the drop in when you remember and get back on your normal course of treatment. Question number nine, does it matter which drop I put in first? Oftentimes you're gonna be giving three different drops to use, a steroid, antibiotic, and an NSAID eye drop. Does it matter which one goes in first? And it does not. You can put them in any order that you prefer. The only thing we recommend is wait a few minutes in between the drops so you don't dilute or wash out one drop front with the other off. Number 10, how long do I have to use the eye drops after cataract surgery? Definitely you're gonna be using the eye drops for at least a week after the cataract surgery, but some of the drops they may have you use them for a few more weeks after that. So your doctor will give you specific instructions on when to stop your drops. Question number 11, can I use lubricating eye drops in the eye that I just had surgery on? And the answer is, Absolutely yes, and I would highly encourage you to use a preservative-free lubricating drop after the cataract surgery. That's gonna help with the healing, it's gonna help with your comfort, and it's gonna just give you a better result. So definitely use a lubricating drop, but wait about five minutes between the drops when you put that lubricating drop in. Question number 12, is there a specific lubricating drop that I should be using? There's a lot of different lubricating drops that are out there. I would definitely avoid any of the drops that say anti-redness or anti-allergy lubricating drops, but use a preservative-free lubricating drop and that's gonna be a great option for you to use. Question number 14, can I use my anti-allergy eye drops 
after cataract surgery? And the answer is yes, but before we do that, I wanted to say, hey, thanks so much for getting this far in the video and watching this. And I'd like to ask you a little favor. If vision is important to you and you like hearing topics like this where I make eye care simple, then please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below because that really tells YouTube that this video is valuable and they should send it out to other people. Yes, but the steroid drop and the NSAID drop both of those are anti-inflammatory drops. You're gonna be on those after the cataract surgery. And both of those drops are gonna treat any of the allergy symptoms that you might be having. So a lot of patients after cataract surgery, if they're on the steroid and the NSAID drop, they're gonna find that their allergy symptoms are gonna be reduced and you may not need the anti-allergy drop specifically. And so generally speaking, you can stop the anti-allergy eye drops while you're doing your drops after cataract surgery. Question number 15, should I use my eye drops on the day that I go see the doctor for a post-op visit? And the answer is absolutely yes. When you go to see the doctor for one of your post-op, whether it's a one day, one week, one month, and you're supposed to be using eye drops, definitely use the eye drops before your appointment. Question number 16, if I've had one eye done and I have the other one coming up, can I use the drops from the first eye on the other eye? Generally speaking, you probably can. The only risk of that is if you've contaminated or touched the tip of the bottle or touched it to your eye, there might be a risk of developing, spreading that to the other eye and you might be safer off using a brand new set of drops. But if it's a short period of time, like a, a few days or a few weeks between the two eyes, then you could probably use the drops. But likely, the drops that you're gonna be using on the, on the first eye, you're gonna be out of those and you're gonna be starting with a fresh set of drops on the other eye. Question number 17, what do I do with my leftover drops? So if the doctor has recommended you stop using your drops and you're still some leftover in the bottle, then you should probably get rid of those because you don't wanna keep those on. You can't use those in a year from now um, because they might start become contaminated. So if there's any left in the bottle, the best way to get rid of those is take them to your pharmacy and they can dispose of them in the proper manner. So question number 18, how do I put the eye drops in? If you wanna learn how to put eye drops in, then you should be watching this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.